I think that's where it started from. Like, like you took, yeah, you, I like took my time, take. I filled this out, yeah. Yeah? and then you take it without even telling me, knowing what I'm using it. Wait, then right what? after that, it's the whole suggestion thing. Mm -hmm. Which was like, oh, maybe we should vote on it. Just, I, 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 I. <laughs> Talk to your friends like that. Do that to your friends. Clearly, you're not my friend. I'm feeling off this right. Okay, okay, I mean, this is the height of it. Guys, if I hear Venice complaining about Entabi just one more time, I'm gonna flip. I am going to lose my mind. I mean, yesterday evening, Venice spent all of her time complaining to different housemates that cared to listen about how upset she was with Entabi about how oh my gosh i want to avoid toxicity i want to avoid negative energy she just kept on going on and on and on and on about it and guys oh my lord it was really annoying really annoying and it sparked up a lot of conversation online because people were kind of taking all the words people were surprised and shocked even at this new venus i mean this is the same girl that would go on and on and on about, oh, uh, if you have issues with somebody, I believe you should just move on to the person and talk to the person about it. I don't like you going about and choo 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 talking about the person behind the But yesterday, Venice took on the mantle of the, I don't know, should I call her the complainant or the nag or the gossip? Yes, about Ntabi. And the Ntabi that she was busy talking about spreading words about was busy having so much fun for the first time actually so much fun inside the main house with Mpo with Gashwan with Temba whilst Venice was out there on the patio licking her wounds and guys I was really disgusted you hey, welcome back to my youtube channel my name is glory elijah this is frankly speaking with glory i am the girl with the t guys pardon me being so dramatic but i think i have had it up to here with venus painting two pictures for us the viewers because at this point in time i don't i don't think i know which venus i should actually relate with now or even accept at, because guys it's quite confusing it's quite confusing and there's something weird going on. When BU was still in the house, I don't know how many of you noticed how calm Venus was. I don't know how many of you noticed how well-behaved, classy, ladylike, elegant. I don't know. I don't know how many of you noticed all of those things. It was as though BU possessed such an aura that kind of made Venus calm. Because by nature, BU is also a very, very calm person. So whilst I was in the house, there were certain things that happened that BU never bothered to confront. And so I felt like it probably kind of rubbed off on Venus because we did not hear her complain about people like that. As a matter of fact, if any other housemate, even her bestie in the house, Nali, brought reports of, oh, this housemate did this, the first thing Venus will say is, don't tell me about it. Go ahead, call up the person and have a conversation with the person. Let the person know how you feel. And then I believe it can be resolved. I believe, I believe it can be trashed out. That was Venice's go-to words every damn time. There was something about to grow up in that house. And then, B, you got evicted. And she maintained her, you know, usual self for the first one week that B was evicted. But then beginning from Sunday, we started seeing a different side to Venus. Number one, she went ahead and engaged in Temba's kiss. Yes, Temba kissed her first, according to both their narratives, but then she welcomed the kiss, she enjoyed it, and she kissed him back erotically, putting on the same position that she had actually used in kissing Bayou. Now, that was one thing that actually put off people, like, okay, what the hell is going on? Are you trying to you know, repaint the picture of what you had with BU. And then after the kiss, she went ahead to talk about, oh, how she, she regrets the kiss with both BU and Temba. And oh, if she knew she wouldn't have done it, she's not ready for a relationship, blah, blah, blah. She wanted a serious relationship, which of course is something that she had been saying in the house. But then if you were not ready for something, why did you go ahead to kiss Temba? Oh, and the kiss did not even stop there. In the room downstairs she had actually been leading temba to the bathroom for what probably to reenact 
the kissing scene that she had with Biu, yes, before Biu was evicted. But then she had seen um, Terry, was it Yoli and Tools in the closer area. And remember guys, Yoli and Tato, they had actually caught um, Venus and Biu when they were kissing. So Venus had probably calculated and put two and two together that, oh my God, there is the witness on the previous kissing scene. So if I kiss Tamba now, she probably would spill the tea. And so she was telling them that, oh, she wanted to go and clean off her, wipe off her makeup. And then she and Tamba went to the bathroom, but nothing happened. And then that night and the next day, she kept on going on and on about, oh, um, I shouldn't have kissed you, blah, 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 blah. But then till now, Temba is still adamant that no, you led me on. I kissed you. If you didn't like it, you would have stopped. But no, you enjoyed it and you went ahead to do it. So guys, that was the first Venus that we saw. And just when we thought, okay, fine, maybe this is the only Venus that we're going to get to see, that is a new change. Switch, as a matter of fact, in personalities. As the new Venus that we are seeing in the house right now is the Venus that cannot be bold enough or even brave enough to confront head on whoever was pissing her off in the house nah i'm disappointed imagine trying to explain to someone outside yeah they yeah. won't get it but personally i i'm making a consecutive decision to distance myself from toxic energy <laughs> now i had done a video yesterday talking about what actually caused the clash between venus and Ntabi. guys Venus had addressed it head on right there and then. Yes, yeah, she was trying to make a suggestion on their task. Yes, and um, tools had wanted the house to vote on it. And Tabby had actually, you know, shoved aside Venus's contribution. That had upset Venus. And she had broached the, the subject right there. And Tabby had actually apologized. Now, even though Tabby had gone into the diary room to tell Biggie that even though she apologized, she's still holding that grudge in her heart she has not forgotten it because she felt like oh some people feel like they are smarter than other people but venice had actually gone ahead to explain herself that listen it was just a suggestion i wasn't saying it like oh i know more than you no it was just a suggestion because of course it's a group work for the entire house we just 100 on it now both women they did the right thing you know you offend me i talk about it you apologize blah 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 I thought it was going to end there. Nah. Venus had gone ahead to have that conversation with Tools later. I thought it was going to end there once again after talking to Tools. She was even saying that, oh, and she, she didn't want to hold it. And Tools had actually advised her that, listen, Ntabi is probably trying to lead you on to something or probably trying to lead you to react. Do not take the bait. Move on and forget about it. I thought that Venus was going to end the conversation right there. But hell no. Venus still felt like talking, which is what is actually confusing me now because I'm thinking, Venus, is this, is this really necessary? Because she was working on the eye painting in the, on the patio and um, Nale, a bestie, was keeping her company and then she brought up the conversation again. As a matter of fact, it felt like any single thing that Nale brought up to talk about, Venus would immediately pick up on that energy and somehow look for a way to bring in the entire conversation. Oh, she because she likes because she sees that Temba is f chasing me, but that's why she's probably doing what she's doing. Oh my god, I don't like and guys, Venus has a way of talking about things that it makes her look so pious, it makes her look so untainted, it makes her look so holy. Like, oh my god, this girl is almost blameless, no single sin. I mean, guys, I'm not saying that she's a hypocrite. I don't want to call her a hypocrite because, hey, it's valid when people feel how they feel. So her feelings are valid. But the bone of my contention with Venus on this video is Venus has really disappointed me. Venus fall my hand. Because this is the same Venus that encourages every single housemate that has a grudge against another housemate. That, listen, the best way to resolve such conflicts is to address the issue one-on-one -on -one with the other person have a conversation with the other person sort it out because we're all adults we're not kids sort it out so that you yourself will have peace and that person too will know not to mess with you next time but why is venus not taking her own advice why is she not doing what she recommends to every other housemate because guys yesterday Aside talking and okay, she talked about it with Nale. 
Then whilst they were talking, Tools came, she talked about it again. And then while they were talking, Sister Mara came, she talked about it again. Whilst they were still talking, Tato came, she talked about it again. I think Libo came at some point, she talked about it again. And she kept on emphasizing on it. And there's something about when you continuously complain about something. It begins to register in people's minds. It's more like the act of instigation. You are instigating a weird kind of feeling, you know, about Ntabi in the heart of the other. Guys, I know that Ntabi has her own shortcomings. I know that Ntabi is more like a puppet to Mpo. I know that Ntabi is more like a follow follow. Mm to Mpo. I know that sometimes it appears like Ntabi does not really have a mind of her own because most of the time whatever the decision she takes in that house it is based on whatever recommendations that Mpo gives. Ntabi of course has her own helplessness as a gossip in that house on her own but then I do not think Ntabi is 100% a bad person. For her to be able to acknowledge that okay fine I was wrong and apologized to Venus I felt like Venus should have just dropped the issue. And yes, Venus was saying that, oh, uh, it's been going on for a while. I've been noticing the snake eyes. I've been noticing the weird looks, blah, blah, blah. Girl, you people are in the same house. It's not like Ntabi is in Durban. You are in Johannesburg. You people are under the same confined space. So if it bothers you so much, have a conversation with Ntabi. But Venus never did any of that. She never did any of that. Instead, she chose to take the route of something that she used to condemn, which is what is actually pissing me off. And afterwards, she now talked about, oh, she's not going to sleep upstairs because the negative energy is too much. And lo and behold, she slept downstairs, I think on Gashwan's bed, facing Sister Mara. <sighs> you know what, guys? I don't know. I don't know if I'm the only one that's noticing this new switch. You know, it's like we had this innocent looking Venus and then boom. Uh, they are now in top 11 they are getting close to the finals and then we are seeing a new personality so the question is do you guys actually think that this is the real Venice that we are seeing or do you think she's just basically overreacting based off of the energy that she's been getting from Mpo and Ntabi whatever you think let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you guys on another video soon this time around we're going to be having a conversation of some dirty secrets spilled in the diary room during the housemates diary session yesterday trust me you want to watch out for this one I'll see you guys on another episode of frankly speaking with Gloria Elijah have an amazing day bye <laughs>